The one simple idea for overcoming barriers is to really follow your passion. In 1965, when I was 10 years old, my father took me to my first Cleveland Indians baseball game. I fell in love with the excitement of the event and realized that uh, I had found my passion. When I was growing up during the 60s and early 70s, the business end of sports was a man's world with rare exceptions. Uh, Title IX had just come into being when I graduated from high school in 1973, and the opportunities in sports that that landmark legislation had so successfully created for young women hadn't really touched my life yet. In college at Ohio University, there were very few women in the front offices of sports organizations to show me the way. When I did enter the field, I didn't recognize or even imagine that there were barriers to cross. Fast forward till now, and Columbus has proved to truly be a great sports town. I definitely saw the need to have a sports commission for our community. So when it came time to start looking for the leadership of the new Greater Columbus Sports Commission, and look around the country at some of the men that were leading the charge in our industry, it was Paul Astelford that stepped up on my behalf and really gave me the nod of confidence and said to our board, basically, she's right here, we found our man. In the beginning, there were times I was the only woman in the room uh, with some very influential men, and it was um, something to get used to. It was a barrier to overcome that really I was the expert in the room and was there to lead this great new organization. If I had listened to the conventional wisdom of the day and to the advice that I was given early on to find a reasonable way to make a living, I, I don't think I would have found my way to be with you here today. Challenge the barriers that you might find in your life with your passion, your intelligence, your energy, and if you can't beat them, convince them to join you. The YWCA breaks down barriers for women in Central Ohio, and I invite you to join them. I thank all of you and the YWCA for this tremendous honor.